Hello and welcome to another five minute drawing lesson. Today we're going to draw a Type 35 Bugatti. So um, we're going to start by drawing some wheels. Remember it might be good to do a few warm-up ones first. Get your arm flowing. Make sure your pen's working. Mine wasn't. So draw yourself a wheel. And then two wheels further away, draw another wheel. Close enough. There's the centres. And now we're going to have a horizontal line that goes level with the centres. And another one that's about halfway between this and the ground level. And the front of our car is just a bit further back than the front. This is going to be the front wheel, by the way. Uh, just a bit further back than that centre. And the back of the car, the tail, is about three quarters of a wheel further back than the back wheel. So from here, if that's one wheel, the back's about there. So you can put a little mark in. Now what we need uh, is a couple of... We need to know the height. The height is a bit less than half a wheel. So this is half a wheel would be here. We're in, we need about this much. So, And the same above the back wheel. And then the top of our tail, this part here, is going to be about level with the top of the wheel. So now we've got three marks. We've got this one here, that one and that one. And we need a nice arc to go through all of those. Let's see how I can do. Something like that. So it goes up from starting at the radiator, it goes up slightly to the high point here and then it curves back down towards the tail. And the bottom edge of the tail, that's going to be, if you continued this line all the way to here, that would be the bottom of that. And then you have a curve going down as if it were going to join on to the, to the, the lower edge. If that makes sense. And now we can show that that's a radiator. And that's the basic kind of proportions of your Bugatti, I think. So at the halfway point here, if we just go a tiny bit to the left of that, we can draw a vertical line. That's the back of the bonnet. And where the halfway mark was, that can be a, a bonnet strap, and you can have another one at the front. Um, and now we just need to know where the driver sits. So he has a, a cutout section in here, and it's the lower edge is slightly lower than the top of this wheel. And then it has a slight a lean that way there, and a lean that way there. And then there's a, a cowling sort of thing like that. I'll just take it a bit further back. You can put your seat in. And a windscreen. And now here at the bottom edge of the bonnet is like that. And then halfway along this and then a tiny bit to the left of halfway. We've got a hole where the steering arm pokes through. That has a rod going to the front wheels. And we can add the floor in at this point. And it's looking a bit like a cutout or a technical drawing, so we'll add a bit of shadow from the far wheels wheels on the far side and also the exhaust pipe and the engine you can see sticking out the bottom of the sump. And now we need some some louvers. This is a sort of row of these so I just do these pairs of parallel lines. Bit of shadow. And now we've got rows of little, um, not quite rivets, they're little, little pins that you use to wire the body together. 
all the way along there. And then more louvers, smaller ones, all the way along under here. And even more on the tail. Then there's finally a little join in the bodywork here with a few rivets. And then there's here a little leather cutout, which is where the gear stick goes. And then there's also a brake lever. And then a filler cap. And a steering wheel. And if you're wondering what angle to do the steering wheel, in theory your steering column should be going from this point to this point. And your steering wheel will be at right angles to it. So like that. And I think that's oh, apart from the radiator filler cap. That's probably about it. Hope you found that useful, and uh, see you on the next one.